Okay, so with this question, first of all we slow down and we look. We slow down and we look at what's been asked of us here. What's the focus of the question? It's to discuss the concept of property. That is the ultimate goal here. And you're drawing on twile, positivism and feminism in order to do that. Okay, so starting to prioritise the tasks here is really important for answering questions in, a, in the law exams. Okay, where is the focus area? Where do you need to put emphasis? So in this case, it's putting the emphasis on discussing the concept of property. That's where all the roads must lead to. Is knowing more about the nature of the concept of property. Okay, so what are the connections? What, what material can you draw from the bubbles within the circle? What material can you draw on in order to discuss the concept of property? What came up? Yes. The origin of property and property law. The origin of property and property law. Okay, say more about that. How does that relate to a discussion about the concept of property? Well, as with most things, you have to look where someone came from to where it's is to where it's going to be. So, if you're discussing concept of property, you're looking at how it affects society. Okay, how it affects society. Okay, so what, what sort of things are you drawing from positivism to say this? Well, positivism to begin with because you're looking at what actually property is and what property is on paper. Okay, so you're looking at... Factual, factual origins, for positivism, okay? What are you drawing on from the other two in order to make this point? Their, their views on it, so how a feminist would approach property and their view on property law to the difference between that policy and law bill. Okay, so how do feminists draw on property? Yes. It's controlled by a load of rich white men. Okay. Okay. So feminism has a point about control. Fem feminism and control. Okay, good. This is a good way to do it. Just find these catchwords, these catchwords that start to distinguish the different points of view. Okay? Before we sort of get into a heavy analysis, just start off slowly and work through just trying to categorise and label positions in relation to the focus area of the question. Okay, what about twelve? What can twelve? Con what, what does twelve contribute here on um, issues of origin? Yes, in fact. So we've got Western values Western values imposed. Okay, so we've got a nice we've got a nice sort of uh, distinction here on, on the issue of origins that sort of separate these three uh, these three perspectives of law and how they relate to property. Positivism focuses on factual origins or pro the origin, the, uh, the, the process in which law is made uh, that uh, legitimates law. Feminism looks at it from the perspective of property as control. And Twail looks at it as in terms of how Western values are imposed. On, on, on third world countries. Okay? Now, let's go deeper. Okay? What, what can we say now about the concept of property given that we've got this range of, of difference on origins? Yes? There's a range of perspectives. There's a range of perspectives, yep, okay, say more about that. Why, 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 why is that interesting? <coughs> okay, there are a range of perspectives on the concept of property. 
Yes. <coughs> if you want to relate perhaps um, the positivist outlook on things with Twail, then you could perhaps say that both the Western laws and the, uh, the laws made in Third World countries have been made through the correct methods. So for that reason, they're both legitimate, which is going to put international property law, it's going to throw a bit of um, a difficult way to analyse uh, international property law, maybe. Okay, legitimacy is coming up there. Okay, Legit legitimacy, no, thank you for that, that's, that's a nice point. Legitimacy is coming up here as an issue, right? We're starting now to think a bit more higher order. We're starting to think about, think about the concept of property and legitimacy. Okay, what does, is there someone else here? Yes. Yes. Um, I was from the other side of the, um, file that perhaps sort of um, an oppression, um, yep. yeah, imposing these Western values can lead to this sort of oppression. Yep, yep. So, so leads, so you know, le leads to oppression. Uh, okay, so leads to oppression, but we need to always ask ourselves, what is this telling us about the nature of property, the nature of the concept of property? Yes. There's conflicting issues surrounding the concept of property, like if you come at it from different angles. Yep. Yep. There are conflicting issues with the with the nature of property. Yep. Standing onto that, um, different societies will think of um, property in different ways, and there's the competing views within one society as well regarding property. Okay. So there are competing views within societies as well as across societies, as well. Okay. So that comes up in the twelve issue. How, about going across societies, and well, does feminism go across societies? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. So, what are we seeing between feminism and twail? <coughs> Power similarities. Okay. Does positivism go across societies, across cultures? Okay. So, all three actually share a similarity. If you yep. treat these then as methodologies of analysis, then each one of these is going to give you a different perspective where power is located in each society. Okay, okay, good. So what we're seeing here, so remember, remember my point about seeing both symmetry and asymmetry? You know, there's similarity here. They, that all three are united on this issue of what they, what they say should apply across the board, right? So they're all, they all share something. In common. However, there are important differences. Right? And these are all important differences to do with implications of what they say. Okay? So what, what, what would the positivists say to twail and <coughs> feminism on property? Okay, no morals. Okay, so yes, yeah, positivism is a, it's, it's amoral, right? There's, war has nothing to do with the moral status. Did you say your opinion doesn't matter as long as it's good on paper? Yeah, okay. Okay, so again, it's all about the, yeah, the process, yep. Yeah. Uh, maybe some people that follow the Twail uh, perspective might say that lots of the resources of third world countries have actually been <laughs> almost stolen by richer countries and uh, as uh, Tom said, they're being abused somewhat, but then the positivists would go and say, well, they were, they were taken in the correct process, and this is all legal, yep. and therefore it's legitimate. Yep. <coughs> yep. yep, okay, so nice. So, so we're getting a contrast here between <coughs> co context, right? Context, so legi legitimacy and context matter here. And the effect that contexts context have on legitimacy, right? On that, on that battle about legitimacy. Yeah, the, the, the legitimacy here relates to the concept of property in the sense of, you know, what, what justifies a concept of property? Okay, so that seems to be the higher order issue here. Well, one of the higher order issues.
What justifies a concept of property? What legitimates a concept of property? Yes. And the expectations of society at the time. Yep, okay, so the expectations of society at the time, but the positivists, will they agree with that? No. Right. Okay, so you've got a nice nice contrast point here. Right. Okay? Anyone else? Is there someone at the back? No? Okay, so so go through this analysis, right? And this is this is very much the trick with with uh, <coughs> law one two one is doing this juggling act, doing this jug juggling these these sort of issues together, but always coming back to the focus, right? What's the focus area? <coughs> we want to say we want to remember we want to discuss the concept of property. We want to know <coughs> more about what the concept of property is and how the concept of property is determined okay, by drawing on these. And that's what you want to bring out in your analysis. And starting to think of these higher order concern, concerns of legitimacy and context. So I think, I think sort of, I mean, what I can sort of glean from this course is that the markers are finding that students will go into too much detail about trial, and they'll go into too much detail about positivism, and they'll give examples, they'll give too many examples of these things without doing this higher order analysis, right? Without actually going back and asking yourself, at the end of the day, how does all of this relate to a discussion about the concept of property? Because that's the focus area. So for every essay question you get, think of these bubbles, right? Think of this, what is the overall focus and what is secondary to the focus? What do I draw on in order to present the higher order analysis? That's crucial, right? And you dominate your response with the higher order analysis and doing that comparing and contrasting. Okay, so let's just, let's just go back through that again. I just want to re-emphasize this. First so step one is to analyze the question. Very important to analyze the question first of all. Ask yourself, what kind of, what kind of relational analysis do I need to give here? You're, you're using these concepts in order to set up the basic links. Then you make those basic links, okay? Where are the in interesting points of connection? So this is just step two in the process, right? The interesting points of connection are just saying, how does property relate to these issues? But that's not far enough, right? You can't, you can't just say that they relate in this way, you know? You can't just say that, um, you know, uh, intellectual property in, in terms of um, HIV drugs relates, in the third world, relates to property in the sense that it <clears throat> disadvantages some groups. Okay, that's a good point to make, but you need to discuss the point. Okay, you need to sort of say, what does that point tell you? About the concept of property. About what property is, and who determines what it is, and how can you relate that to other 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 parts uh, of the course as well? <coughs>